Hey, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. It's 5.30, we're cutting it even closer. We're really pushing our luck, aren't we, Jen? Hey, we're back for a whole new week of Guitar of the Day. Thanks for joining us again. Hey, just a couple updates. The Strat from Stratterday, that Refin 1960, yeah, it's gone. Sold it. Um, oh, and the Banner LG2 from Flat Top Friday, that's also gone. Both of those are gone. Oh, and if you've been following with us for a while now, one of the very first ones we did, this was a heartbreaker, but I mean, I mean, it was a good sale, but it's a heartbreaker. Uh, that 1960 slab board Mary Kay Jazzmaster, the see-through blonde with the gold parts and the original hang tag, it's gone. Like I said, we're not running a museum here. We do sell this stuff, but hey, it's a brand new week. We've got some cool stuff this week. It's Telly Tuesday. Why don't we do a Telly? Come on back. This thing is from 1955. Well, you know what? It's not even a Telly. It's an Esquire, 1955, White Guard Esquire, to be exact. Lots of really cool stuff going on with this guitar for only having one pickup. Um, for starters, let's talk about White Guard. We call it a White Guard as opposed to the Black Guards. Um, the Black Guard Tele, that kind of butterscotch blonde with the black pit guard, is the earliest inception of the Telecasters and the Esquires. That gonna, is going to go from broadcaster in 1950 all the way through 1954. Uh, once you get into 55, Fender decided to change the aesthetics a little bit. We get away from the butterscotch blonde finish and we go to this see-through white blonde finish over ash or as I call it, the glazed donut finish. Um, you can still see some grain through there, but it's a lot more white. And instead of the black pit guard, they switched up to the white guards. This is gonna be kind of the look of this guitar all the way uh, until we get into 59, uh, when they start putting the slab rosewood boards on them. Uh, the other thing that's super cool about this guitar, uh, for me especially, is the pickup. Uh, like we always say, you know, when Fender changes stuff up, they don't throw everything away. Um, so this has the original flat pull piece bridge pickup. This is the same pickup you would have found in a black guard. This is the same pickup that makes me go, oh yeah. Um, these are my favorites. Uh, so this one's still shipped with the black guard pickup. Um, the other thing I get on Esquire is a lot. Mark, it's only got one pickup. Why is there still a three-way switch on there? Because there's still three tonal options. Um, you go up uh, into the top position, which would normally be up here on the neck, you get that same kind of sound, get out of a Telecaster that has a pickup there. You have that that high, uh, low pass filter cap there that cuts a lot of the highs off. Um, when you go into the middle position, you're gonna get what you would typically get back here in the bridge, volume and tone controls for the guitar. Uh, and then on the Esquire, my favorite, you go to the back, you get the twangiest of twang. You get just this pickup wired to the volume control, no tone circuit. Who needs it? I want to rip teeth out. I want to rip the paint off the walls with the twang. That's where you get out of that position. Just the volume knob and the pickup. Um, simple animals other than that, man. This one's in really, really great shape for its age. A Little bit of wear up here on the neck, but man, what maple neck doesn't have wear on it? Um, what do you say we go out front, plug this thing in, see what kind of sounds it makes? All right, we're out front here. We've got the 1955 Fender White Guard Esquire guitar. Uh, we got it going through a 410 Hot Rod DeVille. All the EQs at noon, just a little bit of reverb. Hey, real quick, um, I'm gonna let you hear. This is what that neck pickup sound, or the lack of neck pickup, that position on the switch sounds like with that cap. all the highs, but it is cool if you throw a lot of overdrive on it and stuff, you can do uh, some stuff like this. So you can get occasionally some modern and useful sounds out of that. All right, we're gonna go to middle position now, which uh, is the pickup wire with the tone control in the circuit. Uh, let's see what kind of sounds we get out of that. Finally, we're going to move.
move down into just the back position, which is no tone circuit, just twangy, telly goodness. Let's see what kind of sounds we get out of that thing. <laughs> but this guitar is a lot of fun. This one's from 1955, featuring my favorite pickup of all time, the flat pole piece bridge Telecaster pickup on a white guard. Hey, they did that. They didn't throw everything away, even though they were supposed to stop in 54. This one's from 55, original white blonde finish on ash, white guard, flat pole piece pickup. Sounds good, guys. Hey, hashtag Tele Tuesday. We did it again. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Follow me on Instagram at, <laughs> at Mark Agnese. Follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check out all these things online at normansrareguitars.com. How much time we got left, Jen? We got 15 minutes to put it up? I got to edit it. All right. Oh we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>